Hello and welcome to another episode of Mail. This time it's for the month of April. You were, April. You were about to like April. correct it's the month of April. It's, it is. It's the month of April. Um, we're we're running a little behind on Mail, but that's okay. Uh, I normally we release it with the fifteenth vlog of the month, but I really wanted all the Japan stuff to be together and then get back on track. So now that all the Japan stuff is done, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna open mail. This might be the biggest amount of mail we've There's ever had. There's a large stack of boxes. At one time. So we've got a ton of packages. There's probably like 10 or 15 packages. So uh, just sit down, enjoy yourself, get a cup of coffee, maybe some popcorn, and uh, let's get through it. Our featured letter from April is from Justine in Petersboro, Ontario. And uh, honestly, this is probably one of the most unique things we have received on mail. We got invited to a wedding. We actually got invited to a wedding uh, for Justine and Daniel happening uh, this September in you know, on Ontario. Uh, and it was actually really cool. It, uh, Justine said, I know it's a long shot, but it would be really awesome you know, if you could be here. Me and Daniel are both absolute big fans, and she wanted to kind of use it as a surprise for, for Daniel. Congratulations. First off, congratulations. Uh, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to be there, but uh, I feel very honored to have been invited, so I appreciate that. And I wish you good wishes for your special day and for the future, and I very much appreciate you sending this our way, because that meant a lot. For our first package, it's from Jacqueline in Littlefield, Texas. And actually, she had sent us a letter and said, hey, that package from that place is from me. Okay, so she sent her leather separate, separate from, from the, the package. package. I understand. All right. What does the leather say? The leather says, Dear Stephen Amell, uh, I hope you two have been having a wonderful month. I've sent you all a package that is arriving separately from this leather, so if you'd like, you can read this with the package from the Rooster Teeth store, which must be what that is. Yes, it is. I'm sending you something to watch whenever you finish Dragon Ball Z or whatever show you're currently watching. It's an American-made anime-style show known as Ruby, which has become increasingly popular on the internet over the past few years. They just finished their third volume slash season a few months ago, and although it is not yet available on DVD, it's all up on YouTube. Each disc has the option to view the season as either individual episodes or as an entire movie, so whichever option you prefer you can use. When it comes to starting off, I would highly recommend first watching the trailers of the uh, first season labeled Red, White, Black, and Yellow. They not only serve to advertise the upcoming show, but also provide some insight into the future of the series and are referenced later on. They are essentially mini-sodes. Along with the first two seasons, I sent a little plushie of the main and probably my favorite character, Ruby Rose. Because why not? She's adorable. Anyway, I hope you both enjoy the show as much as I have, and I look forward to future seasons of it. Um, oh, and look forward to future seasons of it. Much love, Jacqueline. Well, Jacqueline, thank you, and I have heard of Ruby. Um, there was, uh, I don't, I honestly don't know much about it, and honestly, it's it's sad that, that this is how I heard of it, but um, there was someone who worked on the show that passed away, like, a year ago or something like that, and um, that's actually how I initially heard about the show to begin with. Um, but I know that people are very, very avid fans of the show because since then I have heard so, so much about it, um, even in our own comment sections. So I really, really appreciate this. We are still chugging along through Dragon Ball Z. It, uh, what season are we on? Um, we're, I think we're currently on season six? I think okay. there's still a handful of seasons left. There's a lot of Dragon Ball, but I've heard a lot about this and I've heard a lot of really good things about it. So I really do appreciate you uh, sending this our way. And it's so weird to see at the top from the creators of Red vs. Blue because like this comes across as a very, you know, at least from the looks of it, a little more serious thing. And Red vs. Blue is like, we're going to voice over Halo characters in a field shooting at each other. Have you never seen Red vs. No. Blue? I don't, I have not seen it. I just, I know what it is. Like I've watched a few episodes like a long, long time ago, like shortly after it first started. But did you know what it was? No, I've heard Red versus Blue, but I didn't know. Oh, it got started a long, long time ago. And it's, all it was, was they, they, they had um, um, the characters from Halo, like in the original Halo game, they played multiplayer and they captured it and then they did voiceovers. Mm. So they would like just look up and down and like that was like how they were speaking to each other and they turned it into a huge series and then it got more and more production value and then they got like associated with uh, Bungie themselves or something and like they were okayed with Bungie and then it, it all turned into this whole big Rooster Teeth productions. Mm. Like that Rooster Teeth was grown out of that. It's a, probably one of the biggest examples of um, 
I don't know, internet media success. Probably. <laughs> I would say Red vs. Blue is probably one of the biz biggest examples. Anyway, this is this is awesome, and this thing is super cute, and Jacqueline, we sincerely appreciate you uh, sending us the first two volumes of Ruby. Our next package is from Leslie in Calgary, Alberta. And what does Leslie send? A box. <laughs> Presumably there's something inside. I see a leather. A leather. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Hey, Steven Amount, this is Spiffla. Oh, it's Spiffla. Oh. Hey, uh, from YouTube and Patreon. I just wanted to send you a quick note to let you know I really love all the work you do. Always brings a smile to my face uh, or awe to my eyes in the case of Mal makes. I've sent some paper craft I made during the Extra Life 2015 stream. I know Mal likes to garden, but these flowers are super low maintenance and bloom all year long. I also sent a collection of Canadian goodies. I know Canada isn't high up on your list of places to vacation, uh, so I decided to send you to some of our more notable junk food items. Even if they aren't your favorite, I certainly don't love ketchup chips. They are all interesting experiences. Hope you two are doing well. Best wishes, Spiffla. Well, Spiffla, thank you. And I, I think I'm, I think I'm pronouncing that name right. I've always pronounced it Spiffla. Maybe it's, maybe it's Spiffle. No, it has to be Spiffla, right? Because the H at the end. I don't know. Spiffla. Uh, all, ruffles all dressed. What does that mean? They're all dressed. Ready they're, to go. <laughs> they're all dressed. They're ready for the car. It, it looks like onion, pepper, and is that oil? Vinegar? Oil or vinegar or something? I'm not entirely sure. It, and it doesn't actually say on the back, <laughs> which is bizarre. I guess in Canada, all dressed means something. So, Ruffles is assuming you know what that means. I have no idea. Okay. There's also... The ketchup chips. The old Dutch ketchup chips. All right. Uh, whoa! Rockets. We have these, but they're not called rockets. They're, and it's, it's, they're it's, called Smarties. <laughs> no, they're called Sweet Tarts, aren't they? Or Sweethearts. Sweet Tarts? Aren't they Smarties? Are they Smarties? They're Smarties. They're Smarties? Smarties. Are they really? They're Smarties. Oh. Because my fifth grade teacher would be like, you're all smarties, so you're getting smarties. Oh, okay. And it's interesting because these are called smarties. Yeah, it's funny, we, but we have these, and I grew up with these. It's the same packaging, it's the same logo, but instead of rockets, it says smarties. These are also delicious, so I, I love getting one of these. Smarties. Um, and these say smarties. Actually, I feel like I've had these, which... I always thought it was they weird. They look kind of like shock tarts, or they, they look no, they're um. What are they? They're uh, they're 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 kind of like M and M's. They're filled with uh, chocolate, actually. Oh, okay. They're kind of like um, they're di they're different though because M and M's like the candy shell you don't really ever taste. It's just kind of like chocolate, and these I'm pretty sure the candy shell is like flavored. Yeah, it's like you can actually taste it. Coffee crisp, a a two pack. Um, I have had these, but not from the States. If they sell them in the States, I don't know. I had one of these somewhere else, and I don't Didn't remember. Did they one? Did they? Yeah. I think I've had it elsewhere, too. I think I had one in a different place. I don't know where I got one, but I think I've had them. But they're good. They're really good. If they have these in the States, anyone watching, you should find these, because these are actually really, really good. I like them a lot. And then it says, uh, leathers in the package, which we opened, and kitties on the back of this. Oh, like, good little kitties! It looks just like them. That's that's excellent. Oh wow, that's incredible. Like that looks real. <laughs> did you just? Try, no smell. Did you just try to smell paper? I did. That's amazing. Like holy Yoink. crap! And there's 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 six of them in total here. There's some of them are different. And there's all of them. Look at that! That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible. <laughs> they're hard, they're a little hard to hold because I'm holding them by the sticks. There Here. you go. You got it? Yes. I don't want to mess them up. I know. Those are absolutely beautiful. And I appreciate getting all these snacks. Um, I, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm almost too curious about these all dressed things, so. So I'm gonna open up these right now because I haven't had these and I don't know what they are supposed to be. Whoa! Yeah, I think it's vinegar. Well, I like them. I don't like vinegar chips. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they're good. They're not, you know how we have salt and vinegar in the yes. States and it's like, boom, punch you in the yes. mouth? These aren't like that. You might like these, try this. Try that. Tell me what you think. Cause they're like, they're actually really good. I don't, I still don't really know what it is, but 
They are good. Spitfire. Thank you. Not only for the beautiful paper craft, but also for the snacks. And I'll have to have someone tell me what these are. And I guess it looks like onion, pepper, and vinegar, but it's it's, it's considerably much more mild than the salt and vinegar we have uh, here in the States, because Mal doesn't like those, and she can actually stand these, mm -hmm. so. Anyway, thank you again. Our next packet is from Dominic in Philadelphia. All right, and what's the Dominic send our way? Oh man. Air packaging. <laughs> Yes! All right, there's a letter. This one says, read first. Hello, Stephen, Mao, Sagan, and Kepler. My name is Dominic, also known as uh, DB Jukebox on Twitter. I'm 22 years old and I'm a senior at Penn State University, hoping to one day earn a living making props and costumes. I've been watching the vlog in your Let's Play since 2013. I believe that the newest vlog at the time was day 1151. It was in the recommended section on the YouTube homepage, so I figured, why not, and clicked on it. I then proceeded to make the journey, started watching your Let's Plays, and I've been hooked ever since. And now with Malmakes on the rise, the awesome videos just keep coming. I've picked up multiple games based on your videos. The Uncharted series, The Last of Us, GTA 5, and most recently, as of late February, the Assassin's Creed series. Truthfully, I owe a lot to the two of you. When I first started watching, it was in a really bad way. Your channels have provided some very much needed laughter and positivity. I'm also really, uh, I've also really enjoyed talking with the both of you on Twitter every now and again. I hope we can keep talking, it's pretty cool. I've included gifts for the both of you as well as a separate leather with details of what the gifts are. Stephen and Mal, you guys are amazing and you both inspire me to try and be a better person. That silver play button is very well deserved and I wish you both success for many years to come. Sincerely, Dominique. Um, actually, uh, I remember talking to you. Uh, you actually correspond with us on Twitter quite often. Um, and whenever you said uh, Dominic, I was like, I wonder if that's the same person. And yes, it has to be, so <laughs> awesome. And it also says, um, P.S. Since I've gotten so much out of your game recommendations, it seemed fitting to give one back to you. Seeing as you guys are making your way through Dragon Ball Z, I very, very highly recommend the game Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. It's an RPG for the PlayStation 2, and the art for the game was done by Akira Toriyama, the same artist re uh, responsible for Dragon Ball slash DBZ. I've been looking around for it, and if I can find another copy, I will send it to you. Okay, very, very cool. Um, thank you. Uh, I've uh, I've played very little of the Dragon Quest series, but I'm I'm very familiar with it, and I I like the art, but it's probably also because I'm a big fan of you know Toriyama. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z, and and that's probably why. Uh, also, it says uh, hello again. I was hoping to send this out in early March, but school stuff happened. I wasn't able to get this to you two before your birthdays. That being said, here's the dealio on these gifts. Stephen, for you, I sent an Earthbound shirt. What? That is cool. Check that out. That's awesome. That's a good color for a shirt, too. I really like that. Uh, I like how bright it is. Yeah, it's very uh, it's very vivid. I have Earthbound shirts, um, but I don't have any that are... That logo? Um, if I do, it's extremely old, and it was never that bright and colorful, you know? Like, that's, like, very vibrant, and that's... <laughs> And that's all. That's also how that logo should be portrayed. It yeah. should be very vibrant and, and saturated and stuff. Uh, I contacted Mal back in February to ask what size you wore because the new birthday was coming up. You're sneaky. Uh, I know you have your red Earthbound shirt, but I figured one can never have too many shirts with their favorite games on it. It's true, and I really appreciate that shirt. That shirt's awesome. Mal, for you, I've sent a pink scarf. I was in Rome from December 31st, uh, 2015 to January 7th, 2016. I was walking down the street by the Vatican. I saw the scarf on a vendor's arm. Almost immediately, I thought of you. I really dug the colors and I think it'll give I you- I too. I think it'll give you a bit more of that cool art teacher vibe. I hope you like it. Now lastly, the small box is for the both of you. I know you guys went through Dragon Ball and are going through DBZ, at least at the time I'm writing this, so it felt right to send you guys a Dragon Ball. Specifically, I sent you the two-star ball. I know you received a complete set of Dragon Balls in the last mail video, so let's call this one uh, one of the Namekian Dragon Balls. Can't Which would make sense, because to go. scale, like, these things, th go. that one's considerably larger. That's cool. That's very, it's so weird, like, being able to see through. Can you guys see that on camera? Yeah, I think you can a little bit. That's wacky. Uh, let's see. Uh, now there's a, a bit of significance behind this. As I mentioned before, I wasn't doing so well when I stumbled on your channels. Depression is a terrible thing. And you guys really helped me out. Throughout my own personal journey, the two of you have been a constant, giving off so much positive energy, joy, and awesomeness, awesomeness just by being yourselves. Also kitties. Can't forget the kitties. And I think a kitty just walked yeah. by, too. 
That's why I went with the two-star ball. Everything happens for a reason, and I believe that I found the two of you for a reason as well. It's for that reason I consider you more like close friends than just people I watch on YouTube. So to sum up, thank you guys for everything. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? From Dominic. Dominic, that was awesome. That was uh, that was a really, really nice leather. And um, honestly, the stuff you sent is, is fantastic. Uh, obviously, Dragon Ball Z is uh, a huge thing um, in in my life just because it was an anime that I enjoyed and it's it's cool to be able to finally see it in its entirety and share it with Mao. Um, so I really appreciate that. But then also, like, this is a really sweet shirt. Um, you are going to see me wearing this shirt uh, <laughs> I see on the you vlog. wearing it like tomorrow. Yeah, like this is a really awesome shirt and I'm really, really happy to have this. Especially because like, I like my red one with the white text, but um, I would rather wear this. Just, <laughs> just saying. Like, I'd rather wear the one with the, the bright, colorful um, stuff on it. That's awesome. And the scarf, like, come, like... Isn't that pretty? Like, the fact that you're like, I was walking by the Vatican and saw this scarf. Like, that's that's such a cool story that you can say that that came from Rome. That's really... Dominic, thank you. We really appreciate this stuff. You are an uh, awesome viewer. It's been nice to interact with you on Twitter. And uh, we really appreciate you sending this our way. Our next package is from an MC in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Another one from Philly. Mm -hmm. There's the letter. Okay. The letter says, Dear Stephen Amell, Hi, my name is uh, Mariella, and I'm currently going to school in Philadelphia, majoring in music education and finishing up my junior year of college. It's finals time right now, but I'm glad to have a free minute to write to you guys. I'm a relatively new viewer of the vlog, watching regularly for about a year now. I, like many others, first found your videos featuring a meal and then became captivated by the daily vlog and your other uploads to Stephen Vlog and Stephen Plays. What captivated me was your work ethic, attention to detail, and obvious passion for making great content. It is honestly so incredible that you have been able to keep up with it for so long without forgetting a day or something. Also, congrats on getting the vlogs caught up again. Which is kind of bad because now it's behind, but at the time, it was caught up. And also, we're gonna be getting caught up very, very mm -hmm. soon. Also, I wanted to quickly mention um, that we act I actually have multiple vlogs finished. I was just waiting to get mail done and, and uploaded then to you guys. the vlogs will come out. But I have like several vlogs done. Uh, Mal, you are actually a huge inspiration for me. You are a constant reminder that even through the insanity that is a career in teaching, there is still time to do other things that make you happy. In the December 2015 Q&A, you guys answered my question, how do you balance your teaching career with your work on Steven's channel? By saying, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is accurate. Um, that's pretty accurate to my own experience as well, balancing schoolwork, practicing in real life. Uh, it is so incredible that you're able to balance so much in your life and your hard work will keep me motivated even on days where I just want to sleep in my free time. Anyways, please enjoy this small gift for me. I found these DBZ socks and thought of you guys. Not sure which one of you will claim them, but have at ye. Thanks for reading and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? From Mariella. P.S. The kitties are adorable and I love them. And also Mariella included <laughs> a little snapshot of Destiny Burger at the, uh, at the bottom. You know what they say. Got to go to mall, got to catch a ball, Pokemon. DBZ socks. <laughs> that is awesome. Is that, um, that's the, that's not the Roshi symbol, right? That's King Kai symbol. I think that's Kai symbol. Yeah, that's King Kai symbol, which is really cool. Those look like they might actually fit you. Oh my goodness. Socks that'll fit me? My giant feet? Could it be? That is awesome. You know, you, you see a lot of a Dragon Ball Z. Socks that'll fit me? <laughs> I was gonna say, you see a lot of Dragon Ball Z, like, like shirts and things like that. With that's characters that's, on them? Yeah, but I don't know if I've ever seen Dragon Ball Z socks. Seriously, I don't know if I've ever spotted those in the wild. Wild. So I appreciate that. All right, Mariella, thank you so much for uh, sending us some King Kai socks. Maybe we'll be able to finally catch Gregory. Our next package is from Nathan in Normal, Illinois. Normal, Illinois? Normal, Illinois. Normal? Normal. Normal. As opposed to like bizarre Illinois or, um, you know, irregular Illinois or something like that. What's the opposite of the normal? Weird? Weird Illinois. I guess. Anyway, uh, dear Stephen Mao, 
Uh, I've been watching your Let's Play since a friend of mine posted the last video of the Halo Anniversary LP on Facebook. I was hesitant at first to watch it, but I was bored in college and waiting for my next class to start, so I decided to watch the video. I really enjoyed the video as it reminded me of my time playing the Halo campaign with friends. I've watched most of your Let's Plays since that one, though I need to go back sometime and see the rest of your early ones. What has kept me coming back to your Let's Plays is the hard work and professionalism in your videos. You clearly take your work seriously, and it shows in how much you enjoy the videos you produce. The reason that I'm writing this is that I've included one of my favorite ga uh, video games series of all time. I saw that you had the first HD Remix game for the Kingdom Hearts series, so I decided to get you the second one when I saw it on sale. I first learned of the series when I was with a friend at a GameStop looking for a new game to get. We were looking for a new game um, and found the first Kingdom Hearts game. She enjoys the Final Fantasy series, and I love the Disney side of the game. I don't remember how many hours we played the first day, but we probably spent a good six to eight hours playing. I've since fallen in love with the series, and I've played all the games, except for the DS games. I would love to see you do a Let's Play of one of the games in the series, but I know you have a lot of other games lined up. Anyways, keep up the amazing work on your Let's Plays. Thanks for doing such quality work. Now I have to get back to the journey. Just over 700 days in, I have a long way to go. Sincerely, Nathan. Nathan, first off, good luck. Uh, the journey is long and unfortunately gets longer every single day, um, but I hope that you're having a good time. Uh, let's see, 700 days in, we are... I think we're in Colombia. I think that's when that is. I think Already? We, yeah, I think the I think we yeah, I'm pretty sure that around 550 is when we get out of college. Is when we graduate. And then we would have been in Colombia for a little bit at that point. Okay. I have it's like whenever people are like, "So, you know, can you recall parts of your life?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I do it, but I do it based on these arbitrary <laughs> three-digit numbers that I know." <laughs> anyway, um, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix. Nathan, thank you so much. I've heard consistently over the years how good Kingdom Hearts is. Uh, and also a little bit about how very crazy detailed and complex the timeline is, because apparently the timeline is like, whoa. There was a, like IGN or something did a, a video trying to explain the games, like the timeline and what happens. And it, it's like an hour long because it took that long to explain everything. But uh, I enjoy that kind of complexity. And I think it's really interesting um, I've talked about it a little bit before, but it's really interesting just the combination of Final Fantasy and Disney. Like, who would have ever <laughs> thought of that? That's just so bizarre. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thank you so much for sending this our way, and hopefully sometime in the future we'll get the chance to actually experience the Kingdom Hearts series. Next up, we have a package coming from Seattle. Okay. But it doesn't... It has a name on it, but I'm not sure if maybe that's the person... It looks like it came from a packaging company yeah, or something. Yeah, so... Maybe. We will see. Let's find out. So open it up. Inside the box is another box. It's another smaller box. There's a little Mr. Saturn on the side of it. You see that? Yeah, I do. That's cute. And there's... Oh, and uh, it's uh, Chew from Chulip. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, time to open another box. Okay, you are cutting towards your stomach. I don't know if you're wearing it. They're cutting down. All right. So this is open. There is a letter inside and I think a piece of art. Grab Take this. That. Let me grab this leather. There's Neko Atsume tape at the oh! top. Do you see that? It's so, it's so, you see that, guys? It's like a little, like, Neko, Neko Atsume kitties. All right. Dear Stephen Amell, Hi, my name is Mary Kate, and I go by Peach Princess... Th Are you trying to feed me those? Peach Princess 3 on the internet. This is the first mail I've ever sent, but we have talked on Twitter before. Last spring, I made my senior quote, 1962 was a long time ago. Yes, okay, I, yes, now I know who you are. Uh, I've been watching your channel for almost two years. I started when Josh and you filmed each other vlogging at PAX East during the, uh, <laughs> Haley's birthday. I really enjoy Josh, your- what were you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy your content in it and am currently taking the journey. Well, I started a year ago, but I'm taking a break. Uh, I hope to meet you at a con sometime. I tried to get PAX Prime tickets last year, but they sold out. I am hoping to go this year because I'm currently living in Seattle for school. I am, however, uh, going to Emerald City this Friday, and I'm excited. It's my first Comic-Con. Anyway, I, I, I got you to these limited edition Jones Soda because they were selling them on their site for their 20th anniversary. I bought uh, a pack and shared them with my friends, and I think it tastes delicious. It is good if you like cream soda. It's too bad the pack uh, I got didn't have any labels with cats, but a dog and a, a hedgehog uh, are close enough. Enjoy. I look forward to your content daily from Mary Kate. And on the back it says, P.S. You should definitely consider finishing... Oh, Lord. 
Uh, you should definitely consider finishing Life is Strange. I played it after you did the first 20 and I loved it. Also, it would be a long LP, but if you've never played Ace Attorney, definitely play it. The characters are hilarious. Um, first off, Mary-Kate, thank you for the letter, and thank you for sending the Nekowatsume tape, because it's awesome. And thank you for... Birthday cake soda! It's birthday cake soda. Oh man, I don't even... What would that taste like? Birthday cake, of course! I mean, Mary-Kate said it, it tastes similar to mm. cream soda, which makes sense, but that is... That's crazy. You know, um, uh, Zaxby's has a... Birthday cake, birthday cake, cake milkshake. milkshake. I've never tried it, but I've always been like really curious. Like, what on earth does that taste like? We can go get milkshakes. <sighs> you would like that, wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, birthday cake soda. Thank you for that. Uh, I was gonna say, um, in regards to Ace Attorney, uh, it is a game that we have played before, but it's been so we've long. We've played the first one all the way through, and I think I got halfway through the second one. Yeah, we've played the first one, but like it has been so long that I legi legitimately don't remember. The, story. the stories or any of that, so we could reapproach it as if it were blind, and I would not remember what was happening. So, I don't know, that might be fun because the Ace Attorney series is actually. Mm -hmm. I remember whenever we played the first one, I was like, this is a really good game. So, maybe we'll do that at some point. Anyway, Mary Kate, thank you so much. Oh, I forgot to show the fan art. It says Cat Princess Peach, and there's a cute uh, picture of a. Well, and it's, it's a cat, a cat princess, cat princess peach. peach. Our next package is from Calvin in San Francisco, California. Okay, and what does Calvin send? There's a letter on top here. I have the letter. The letter says, Dear Stephen Amell, how are you guys? Hope you two have enjoyed the food care packages. Uh, so the smaller box is something you already have, but it's good if that happens again. Uh, other than that, hope you guys are in good health. Have a wonderful day, and let's meet back in the next letter slash package, shall we? Best witches, Calvin. And it says, P.S., if you haven't already, read the back of the cardboard. Uh, Calvin from San Francisco, we've gotten mail from it. Actually, last month, uh, Calvin was the person that sent us a huge box of Pocky. Hmm. And uh, it was very well received, <laughs> Calvin. Um, in fact, I... There's some Pocky left, but not much. Uh, we have made quick work of that Pocky, so we appreciate that. Uh, so what is... Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Inside the box was a box. And the back has a note, too. Uh, open only if situation, like on day 2205, happens again, or if you are okay with having another. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what day 2205 is. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Oh, look at that. It's it's Metal Mario. It's pretty. I was doing the Metal Mario song. Because it cuz he gets the cap and then he puts it's a Mario 64. Have you played Mario you have played not much of it. Have you played enough to get to the metal cap? It's a little later. I don't think so. I don't think so. We're gonna we're gonna fix that. I know we've kind of like briefly mentioned it on video before, but like at some point we are gonna cover Mario 64 in a format similar to the Taking Turns thing because Mouse just never played it. Um, she's played so little of it. So um, anyway, thank you for this, Calvin. But in s what else does that say? For Mao, read the ticket which you read. Should I open it then? Is only open if it is or if you're okay. Well, I don't know what day 2205 is, but maybe when we open, we'll have enough context to know what it is. What could it be another of? A cat? Yes, it's a cat. There's a cat in this Oh, it's box. my mug. Oh. The one you burned. <laughs> yes. And melted. Yes. Yes. Day 2205 must be the day that um, I melted your mug. This mug. Do you know why Stephen melted this mug? <laughs> We're gonna tell the story again, aren't we? Uh-huh. The inside is metal. You know what you don't put in a microwave? Stephen, here's the quiz. What don't you put in a microwave? Metal. You don't, you don't put metal <laughs> in a microwave. In my defense, and if anyone wants to hear it, they could go and watch day 2205. Like, I was tired. I had just, but Mal got me out of bed. 
Because I was tired. Because she's tired, she said, will you make me some tea? And I was just, I was a great husband. I was a good husband, just jumped straight out of bed, wandered into the kitchen, and I, I, I was like, oh, she loves this mug. And I, I filled it and I, I melted it. And the, the microwave was literally on fire. Um, but you know, I did all of that within the time frame of being up for like one minute and I was tired and anyway, Calvin, <laughs> for when the situation arises again, which I hope, hopefully it won't, but if it does, we have a backup. And if that doesn't happen, then we just have two. And that is, uh, that is nice. Cause so, they are cool. They are really cool mugs. I've um, brought it to work and people are like, you set this camera lens down. I'm like, I did. <laughs> I drink out of camera lens. <laughs> Um, anyway, Calvin, thank you so much for that, and also the Metal Mario, and um, another appreciation for the Pocky, because we're working our way through it, and it's good. <laughs> it's good. Like, there's so many different kinds of Pocky. You really liked those um, fancy green tea ones, and the... Uh, and the caramel... Latte ones. Latte ones, yeah. The, actually, um, some of the vlogs coming out, I, rate, I like rave about them, so you'll, you'll see them. Anyway, Calvin, thank you so much. Next up, we have a box of gin. <laughs> It's a box of gin! Uh, this package is coming from John, and uh, if you were watching the vlogs back in April, April uh, we went to see Alton Brown live in Colombia. Uh, and it was a super, super awesome experience, and we really enjoyed it. But part of that experience was actually meeting up with um, a viewer uh, named John and his wife. And while we were there, they actually gave us this box of stuff. And we said, all right, well, we'll open it on the April mail, since essentially we got it in April. We're a little bit late on mail, so it's being opened a little bit later, but we're now finding out what's inside, so. Gin. It's probably not gin. It's all not right. heavy enough to be gin. Here's the letter. There's the letter, and it just says, uh, Dear Stephen Amal, we're not too sure what to say in this letter, but we just want you guys to know that all of your videos mean a lot to us. And we're super excited to get to hang out with you guys at the Alton Brown Show. And it was a really good time. Uh, we'll just keep this letter short and sweet by ending it with this. You guys are wonderful people. From what we've seen in your videos, some of the best. Sincerely, John and Christy. John, Christy, we appreciate it. And uh, honestly, it was a real pleasure to meet you and hang out with you. And I really hope that our paths cross again. Um, now, now to get to this gin. Uh, let's open this up and find out uh, what exactly is inside. There is, there's another little note in here. It says, package contents. Hey guys, inside the box, you're going to find stuff for you, Sagan and Cap, and your parents. For you guys, we've included some Game Boy Advance games. Uh, some of them are only the boxes. A pack of Full Art Magic The Gathering Lands, a pack of cards from the Magic Origins set, a DS game, and the limited edition soundtrack to Twilight Princess HD. Sorry. Whoa! So there's all sorts of stuff in here. Texas Hold'em Poker, Namco Museum, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective, so there's a bunch of, I know I'm off screen a little bit, there's a bunch of uh, GBA boxes in here. Van Helsing, um, this is Nintendo DS Lego Harry Potter, and then this is really interesting. This is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD soundtrack. It's actually still sealed. Cool. Very, very interesting. Uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King and Fellowship of the Ring. Okay. And then here is a pack of full art lands. I believe these come from the, um, uh, what's it? The, there's deck like, builder? Yeah, like the deck builder's toolkit thing or, or whatever, which is uh, actually really, really awesome. The full art lands are probably the most beautiful ones. People really like the ones from, uh, what's the set? Zendikar? No, well that's the full art, but what's the, there's a, the joke set. There's a joke set. Unhinged? Is Unglued? It un Actually, I think those are both sets, but one of them, I think, is the one where everyone wants to land from them. Anyway, and there's also a booster pack of Magic Origins in here. And then, there's also <laughs> Rick Grimes. It says, uh, for Sagan and Kep, our cat Amy has graciously decided, this is so out of her nature it's scary, to send some cat toys their way. So there's some cat toys. It says, uh, veggies, includes premium North North American grown catnips. They're gonna lose their minds over this. The, oh, it's, uh, the consistency of it is, uh, like, um... Raffia tape. I don't know what it you just raffia. said, but yes, whatever that is. It's a squeak mouse. It says, play and squeak. Is it squeaking? It's supposed to squeak. Oh, you have to pull out the thing. It has oh. a... It, it has a little plastic thing out of its butt, and then it squeaks. But if I do it right now, the cats are asleep, and if I do it right now, they're gonna be like, what's up? And then they'll bother us the entire mail video, so I better save that. It's It's got the electric mouse sound. It's an eggplant. <laughs> 
It reminds me of Chulip. Yeah. That's the first, that was my first thought. It actually just reminds me of Chulip. Um, and then finally it says, uh, for your parents, we think uh, we remember hearing you say once that your parents like The Walking Dead. And it's true. They have actually seen all of The Walking Dead. And um, tonight or last night, they started yeah. watching our Let's Play of The Walking Dead as well. We really hope so because we're sending a pop figure uh, their way as well as a box of chocolate truffles. Enjoy. Thanks for existing. Uh, thank you, guys. It was totally unnecessary, but we really appreciate it. Uh, it is a little Rick Grimes, which I will be happy to give them. I think they'll get a little kick out of that. And then chocolate truffles, which is also very, very nice. Thank you. Um, it's, I don't, I think people have sent stuff um, for our parents, for for our parents, my parents before, mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't happen very often. So anytime like I, you know, let them know or, or give them something, they're always like totally caught off guard and they're very appreciative and they just go, oh my goodness, you know, no one they didn't have to do that. Like they're, it's just really fun to watch them. Um, and they will get a kick out of that because they have seen all of The Walking Dead. Anyway, John and Christy, thank you again for for all of this, uh, this stuff. And I'm really excited to see how the cats react. Once again, later when, <laughs> when we're not rolling. Um, and uh, also it, it was really awesome to hang out with you guys. And uh, I do mean it when I say that I, I hope our paths cross again. And I think they will. Yeah. Out and Brown will be back. And then we'll probably see him again. So next up, we have a huge pile of, of packages from Amazon. And uh, what we've decided to do, because we know that there's some things in here that are like multiple things from one person. And uh, you guys have actually done a really good job with like making sure you include like gift messages and stuff. So we started to open them just to like dig inside and get the gift message out. And we found a complete set so far because uh, the person actually labeled them like one of three, two of three, three of three. So we have a complete set, so we're gonna go from there. So this is the first set, and uh, the gift message says... Here, have that. Thank you. Hi, Segi, Kepi, Mallory, and Stevie. How are you all? Uh, I'm Teru Teru Bozusama. They have commented on some of your videos, and I'm from Norway, which is one of the many reasons I haven't met up uh, on cons, etc. If you wonder how things are here, uh, it's the obvious cold, um, so I hope it's okay. I s send some stuff. Uh, through Amazon until I can manage to collect enough cool stuff for you. I took the most local cat snack I could find, although it's a Danish brand. Uh, Okami does apparently contain English text, please let's play it together, and the AC Trio for the Aveline, my favorite assassin, DLC for a AC4, and a sweet manga. We'll send a letter later. later. Take care and keep on being your awesome selves. Bye. Uh, okay, well, Teru Teru Bosusama, which honestly I'm gonna call you TB, because that's a lot easier to say, uh, thank you. And I'm glad that we were able to like coordinate this and, and do this. And that honestly has everything to do with the fact that you like labeled them one of three, two of three, three of three. Uh, so we really appreciate that. So let's take a look at the uh, packages. So in the first one we've got, wow, look at that. Grain free, uh, Loxa Monk, Monk, 100% uh, fresh salmon. So they're cat treats. They're Danish cat treats. That is awesome. That's so cool. And it says, um, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, I had, I had to find the English section. Uh, ingredients: fresh salmon. That's that's the only ingredient. Naturally rich in proteins and salmon fat. The fat from salmon's contain large amounts of the healthy omega three and six fatty acids. Cool. May not be fed to production animals. Well, don't have to worry about that. And the little little picture on the front's really cute too. There's also. Uh, the manga, uh, it says A Silent Voice, which is neat, uh, from Yoshitoki uh, Oima. On the back it says, learning to listen. Shoya is a bully. When Shoko, a girl who can't hear, enters his elementary school class, she becomes his favorite target, and Shoya and his friends goad each other into devising new tortures for her. But the children's cruelty goes too far. Shoko is forced to leave the school, and Shoya ends up shouldering all the blame. Six years later, the two meet again. Can Shoya make up for his past mistakes, or is it too late? Huh, it's an interesting premise. A silent voice, thank you. Let's go to the other package. And then inside here is a PS3 copy of Assassin's Creed The Americas Collection. And The Americas Collection has got the Assassin's Creed Liberation HD, Assassin's Creed 3, and then Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which is uh, super, super cool. I've actually, honestly, I, we just wrapped up on Revelations and I've been really excited to play through Assassin's Creed 3. I know it has like, People have mixed opinions about it, but I've been excited to play it because it takes place in like colonial America. Oh, cool. 
like that is so exciting to me. I'm like, man, I, I think the setting is gonna be really, really awesome. So I'm looking forward to that, so thank you. And then, oh wow. This is the um, PlayStation 3 version of Okami. And uh, the, I'm trying to recall here, this does have the English text, as TB said, um, but I believe it was only ever released for PS3 physically in Japan, which is why this is the Japanese okay. copy. I believe it was released in the States digitally, but not physically. Okay. Um, but they did make a physical version of it but it was only, um, it was a, you know, a Japanese import. But if you want to play it in English, you actually still can. So that is super cool. That is really, really neat. And Okami is such a, you know, popular game, a popular franchise and very artsy. Um, it's a game that has been recommended to us time and time again. We haven't gone through because <laughs> there's so many other games, but like, I think now more than ever, you should really, you, you specifically should probably play it. I can't. I can't imagine you getting through the game and not coming out of it inspired to do a piece of Mal Makes Art based mm -hmm. on Okami, so. Anyway, uh, Teru Teru Bosusama. Thank you, these are all fantastic gifts and we really appreciate it. And I think the cats are gonna appreciate it too. Next up we have two packages uh, from Amazon. They are both uh, gift wrapped actually and they have little notes on them, and that's actually how we've grouped them together is because of the- They have notes. <laughs> well, the, the notes and, and the, the gift, gift wrap, wrap, they match. Uh, it says, hi, Stephen Amell. I hope you enjoy your birthday present. This year's present, or next year's present, depending on when you get this. Uh, thank you for giving me a chance years ago. It still means a lot to me. See other card. And this one says, thank you, Mel, for helping me with a special project I'm making, and thank you, Stephen, for helping me with your critiques when I need channel help. You both are forever amazing, never change. Hashtag forever Mitt Romney, sincerely, Aaron, the Meow Lady. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Um, Aaron has been a viewer for a long, long time, and there's kind of a running joke a long time ago where we had... Um, a live stream? We had, we had done a live stream, and the live stream, we did it on Ustream, which is a terrible platform. I don't know if they're still terrible, but I presume so. Uh, there's a million other better places to stream stuff anyway, but um, on Ustream, what was happening was they were running Mitt Romney ads... Like they every up all every the time. like three minutes, it was coming up, so it was like no one could watch. But all the chat was like, "There's another Mitt Romney ad. Stop talking because we can't see what's going on." It was uh, it was really bizarre. Um, anyway, so we should open these. Mm -hmm. Quantum Break, Xbox One console exclusive. I've heard really amazing things about this actually. Um, it was uh, it was a series that they were they were working. Let me see what it's like. The, what it says on the back. Oh, it's the. And it's the player's guide for it. it says caught in an experiment that fractures time itself jack joyce must master his newly found powers and fight the secret of monarch solutions to put things right before it's too late uh intense cinematic gameplay fuses with a gripping live action show that adapts to the choices you make so the big thing whenever this came out was that it had a live action show with mm -hmm. it so like you have you know a video game portion that you're playing but then it cuts to like live action scenes it's kind of like a fusion of television and video games which is honestly really neat um thank you thank you so much that's uh, that's really awesome i've heard good things about this and uh i think um probably right off the bat i'd like to do like maybe a first 20 or something of it just to to show it off because i have heard great things and uh first 20 or 30 minutes of the game is a great way to find out about it so aaron Thanks. And last but certainly not least, we have um, some four. Amazon packages. Four? Four. Four packages from John. And uh, John has sent us stuff uh, recently. I believe he sent us stuff last month and possibly the month before. He's been sending us a lot of um, a lot of board games, a lot of things like that. So we're going to take a look at what John is sending us. First up is a, is a card game. A, the pseudo-scientific card game of strategic uncertainty, Schrodinger's Cats. Uh, Schrodinger's Cats is a pseudo-scientific card game of strategic uncertainty for two to six players. A fast, fun game of bluffing, deduction, and cute cat pictures. Any bluffing game is always a riot and always a good time, so that sounds fantastic. And also the art on it is really awesome. So, John, <laughs> right off the bat, thank you. The next box is large. And has many packing peanuts in it. There is, let's dig, it's a, it's a board game. Here. Ooh, are you trying to like prevent all the peanuts from falling out? There we yes. go, I think I got it. It is Dead of Winter, a crossroads game. Check that thing out. That is a, it's a big box. 
the back of it instantly reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, how, what's the house game where you're in the house? Um, Escape from House. No, that's, ha that's a, movie. a House on the Hill. Yeah. But I forget what it is. Anyway, Betrayal at House, Betrayal on, the house on the Hill. Uh, play in the epic struggle. 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 The struggle for power and survival. Dead of Winter is an experience that can only be accomplished through the medium of tabletop games. It is a story-centric game about surviving through a harsh winter in an apocalyptic world. The survivors are all dealing with their own psychological imperatives, but must still find a way to work together to fight off outside threats, resolve crisis. Uh, find food and supplies and keep the colony's morale up. Wow. That looks cool. Has players making frequent, difficult, heavily thematic, wildly varying decisions that often have them deciding between what is best for the colony and what is best for themselves. Huh. Two to five players, one to two hours. That's awesome. So it's a game where, like, you are working as a team, but you're also not. Yeah. Like, you have to work as a team to, to make it, but also you, you, gotta, you gotta look out for number one. That's a really cool idea. That is awesome. Very, very cool. John had um, John had mentioned that uh, we would we would be getting a board game. I think he told me this on, on Patreon. We'd be getting a board game related to um, our Walking Dead Let's Play, or because of the Walking Dead Let's Play. Be familiar with that. Um, and I believe that this is what that's supposed to be. And that's awesome. Like the concept of this board game is really, really interesting. So I can't wait to try it out. Thank you. And the next one. Okay. Next thing is, i pull it out here. It is uh, Code Names. Code Names is a top secret word game. It says, the spy master says hot, two. Can you find the two words related to hot that win the game? The two rival spy masters know the secret identities of 25 agents. Their teammates know the agents only by their code names. The teams compete to see who can make contact with all of their agents first. Spy Masters gives one word clues that can point to multiple words on the board. Their teammates try to guess words of the right color while avoiding those that belong to the opposing team. And everyone wants to avoid the assassin. Uh, code names, win or lose, it's fun to figure out the clues. That's awesome. And it's, it's a game that supports up to eight people, which is also cool. That's really, really neat. There's so many interesting games coming yeah. out. Like, we live in the best time for games ever. Like, it used to be people were like, shall we play croquet? And that was it. And now we've got, like, obviously, in the, in the world of video games, we have a, a very large, diverse history of, of video games, thousands of games, but like, like for board games and card games, like there's such an, a recent explosion in like the last five to 10 years. It's just really awesome to, to see all of this happening. Anyway, this is awesome. And John, thank you. Last one. Last one. The last thing for today is... Oh, I know what those are. It's a little thing. It just, what is this? It says Miracle Fruit Tablets? I know what those are. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, there was a pull tab. There's a pull tab, but what, what are they? What what is a miracle berry fruit salad? What? Mberry miracle fruit tablets experience something truly amazing. Mberry tablets transform ordinary foods into the extraordinary. Mberry is all natural and made from the finest selection of miracle berries. Turn on your taste buds and seduce your senses. I've read about these. You can eat one and then like eat a lemon and it does not taste like a lemon. What? <laughs> what I don't understand. Miracle fruit powder and cornstarch combined <coughs> into tablets. What are your taste buds saying? It says, place one Emberry tablet on your tongue and dissolve completely. Now create, enjoy your own experiences. Suggest It suggests to try it with cheese, hot peppers, <laughs> limes, and pineapple. Huh. You've never heard of them? No, oh. I've never heard of them. That's interesting. Okay. I've always wanted to try them. Well, now we could probably devote a vlog day to, like, trying these we'll weird things. We need to go to the grocery store and get some funky <laughs> things. Yeah. Get some hot peppers and... Not those. You said funky, so I'm, tr I'm trying, you trying, to be hot pepper. trying to be funky. I'm not having a hot pepper. Okay, well... Huh. Weird. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of these. Cool. John, thank you. Uh, obviously for all the amazing games and then... Mal apparently knows what these are, but I've never heard of them, so I'm interested to find out what happens when we put these tablets on our tongue and try random stuff. Anyway, for everyone that sent mail this month, thank you. This is, um, 
This is immense. There's so much stuff and uh, so much really great mail, really great like packages that you guys sent, but also really heartfelt leathers. This was a really good mail month. Um, so thank you guys for sending all this stuff. And if you're watching right now and you'd like to learn how you can do that, you can do so in the description box below. We'll put the link over to our, our page where you can find out the address, all of the little FAQ stuff, and uh, send something our way. We'll be catching up with vlogs and catching up with mail and all that stuff uh, fairly quickly because we don't have any trips planned for a bit. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. There is a lot more awesome stuff coming here on Steven Vlog. You know what I want? More chips. Dressed up chips. They're all dressed up. All dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Except, Except your mouth. my mouth, yeah.